It's a matter of chemistry that's well known to anyone who does laundry. If you leave colored fabrics out in the sun for too long, their color fades. That's because the ultraviolet part of the sunlight has acted on that color molecule and breaks it up. Engineers at the University of Florida have been applying this principle to the process of cleaning up groundwater that has been contaminated with organic chemicals like dioxin or PCBs. You put a catalyst in water and expose it to the sunlight, that is the ultraviolet part of the sunlight. As the ultraviolet photons are absorbed, they cause a chemical reaction which breaks up chemical bonds. The catalyst is titanium oxide, an ingredient in white toothpaste and other products. It's used as a pigment in paints. It's used as a food additive in a number of things that we eat. And it's available abundantly. It's probably the second most abundant material available in the world after soil. And it successfully cleaned up water in the lab. The darkest color is uh, uh, the water that we put in the reactor. Then we got the next color as it went through. And finally, this color is Over at Tyndall Air Force Base in western Florida, Professor Kaswami's graduate students have taken the process from the lab to test it at an actual cleanup site. The site was previously used for a, uh, what they call POL, petroleum oils and lubricant storage area. Over the years, leaks from tanks and spills during fuel transfers have resulted in contamination of the groundwater. It's an ideal area to put the process to the test. Groundwater mixed with titanium oxide is pumped through narrow tubes in the solar reactor. The goal is complete destruction, taking the, the hydrocarbons down to carbon dioxide in water. We do not want to uh, create anything that's more hazardous than what we started with in the first place, which is possible uh, in the when you start trying to oxidize the compounds. We're taking great care to prevent that here. Professor Goswami has great confidence in his process. In fact, we have not seen any organic chemicals or we have not tested any on which this process would not work. If he's right, this may be the beginning of a cheap and easy way to clean groundwater in some parts of the world. Obviously, the, the solar aspect is not going to be applicable to everywhere. If you go up into Maine, it's going to be hard to run a solar-powered unit. Uh, year round. For now, testing continues in the Sunshine State. Sean Caleb, CNN, Future Watch.